right, back in the man cave again. As you can see, it's uh, it's a Thursday, and I took a little cheeky day off work, as you do when you get no work. One has to stay home and play about in the man cave, don't they? Right, so. Uh, as you've seen by the title there, what we're going to look at is sand coatings today. All the different ones, all the different ones I use, where to get them from, yeah, how to apply them and what they look like on the leads. Yeah, so we're going to do that. Yeah, but first I've got to get myself some leads uh, cranked up. I've got some, uh, I've just got some cheeky little flat pairs there, three hours, I'm just going to coat a few of them just show you the differences between them and this is probably the easiest coating uh, to apply the sand really because all you do, dunk it in, coat it, pull it out again yeah, sticks to the dot plastic, very simple so we're going to look at that and how to get the colours you want yeah, because uh, we'll have a look at what determines the uh, finished product or the colour of the finished product, they're basically uh, what it looks like when it's finished and sat on the bottom of your lake, yeah, or river, yeah, wherever you choose to fish, or even the sea, yeah, not that you have to camouflage them in the sea, but uh, hey oh, yeah, everyone to his own, eh? Right, so let's get some uh, three ounce flat pairs, get them filed up, and then we'll have a look at some sand coatings. So I've whacked up a few uh, three ounce flat pairs, them, they're the swivel leads, of course, yeah. That one's a flat bottom one look didn't come out of the mold quite correct so that can go to one side because quality control that won't get sold but it might go in my bag as a little option there we go flat pair three ounce so i'll get four or five of them uh, prepared for coating and then we'll have a look at some tips tricks and handy hints right so i've just uh just prepared a few leads for coating right let's have a look at the sands yeah I've got a few here uh, I'm just going to go through three different ones I've got sand of course is either very cheap from the pet shop yeah or from the beach yeah I've got one here from a, a local lake round here yeah I just took a couple of shovelfuls put them in an empty bait bucket took it home dried it okay um, it's free so that's one from a lake that's like a dark medium grain sand what you can do you either let it dry naturally or stick it in the oven when the missus ain't in and of course it'll uh, dry it quicker and then of course you can put it through a kernel to get any stones or else shite out of it if you want and that is like a that's a dark medium sand that okay off one of my local lakes then I don't know where this come from uh, but again it's got it's like a, a rough coarse sand that one okay so that's a coarse sand okay it's got all different colors in there as you can see as well and then one of my favorites is this very 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 fine sand I bought this in Sweden I bought about two kilos of it in Sweden okay about oh ten 12 years ago, in fact longer than that yeah, I've still got buckets full of the stuff left Yeah, so you could buy that that'll coat thousands and thousands and thousands of leads believe me lads Yeah, so you don't need much Yeah, very 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 fine sand that and it comes out extremely well on leads right so there's the three I'm going to be using okay I've got some more here but they're very similar they're very similar, they've just got buckets full of the stuff yeah, that's a, like a little coarsey one, that's another one, slightly lighter shade of sand that but it doesn't really matter what shade of sand you've got what determines the outcome and the colour is the colour of the coating you put underneath so I'll have a look at that now so I'll get these away because if I don't they'll be all over the floor and it'll look like a beach in here and I'll be running around with my shorts and flip flops on with my old uh, doodad hanging out thinking I'm on holiday in eleven a reef right so sands let's put them to one side before it goes pear shaped oh one more I've got here I just found it kicking about. This is a coarse sand. I think this was taken from Herlander Shen in Gothenburg in Sweden. Again off the beach. A couple of scoops of sand. Stick it in my bag. Away I go home and dry it. 
I've got shit loads of it left. So that's quite a coarse on there. You can see some coarse bits in there. Happy days. Right, so one, two, three, four. There's five there. Where am I going to cut five? I don't know. Right, so let's get them to one side. Now let's have a look at some powders. Right, it's the undercoating coating, <laughs> the powder which determines yeah, the colour of which the lead comes out when you put the sand coating on. Right, this one is a sand that you can buy straight from the shops. So that's supposed to be a sand coating. Uh, it looks like yellow black with a little bit of brown in there. Okay, so I'll show you what colour it comes out with that on. Then we've got like a gravel. A gravelly coat in there so you've got your your browns your whites your blacks your greys I've got my own gravel coat and this is one bought from the shop yeah already mixed but I mix my own and then we've just got bog standard black got bog standard black and there's my own little weedy green coat in there's three different shades of green in there yeah there's the dark green, in fact there's four, the dark green, the lime green, the British racing green and an olive green. So there's four shades of green in there, that's what I use for my weedy ones. But again we'll have a look what colour they come out uh, with that on the top. So there we go, we'll have a look at these then. Okay, so first thing you've got to do of course is fire up the panzer and uh, heat your lead get the plastic coating applied so we're going to do that now right so the first one yeah if you want to that noise is a fired up the primus for two reasons one to light me panzer because uh, i think the initials a bit uh stoke on trent on it and two to warm the man cave up because uh, my knackers are falling off right so the first one is going to be in the gray god should i say gravel e type yeah, plastic coating with a medium dark, well that's dark compared to others, yeah, a medium grain uh, size sun. So as I always do, chaps and chapesses, I just grip the top of the swivel there and then of course I'm going to fire this bad boy up. And just eat that up. Okay, not too much. Shiny silver about to drip. And when it starts dripping, it's 300 degrees. Right there we go. I could see that on its way out there. Straight into the um, the gravel, plastic coating. Wipe that on. Give that a good coat. And make sure all cheeky little silvery lead type parts are covered. Quick tap to get rid of the excess, and then just smooth it all out. So this is a shop bought gravel, this hasn't been mixed by myself, so it comes up a uh, bit of a light gravelly colour. Right so there we go, we don't need the burner anymore. So that is the, if it'll decide to turn itself round, that is the shiny pla plastic coating, as per normal leads, yeah you're running your mill bog standards. Yeah, and then I'm just going to put it in my sand. I'll get a spoonful of that, put it in the sand, and just cover it over the top. Don't even have to press down on this one, but you can do if you want. But what you don't, they ruin the plastic coating. Cover it over. If you want to give it a little tap, you can do. There we go. The sand is embedded into the plastic now. Yeah, there. And what I'm going to do that straight in the water now, just to cool it down. That will go a darker colour now once it gets uh, wet, which you will see. I'll just let that cool a bit. Da, 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 
Watch you don't drip any water into your plastic powders, otherwise it just goes all cloggy. Or get shit all over it. Right, there we go. Still a little bit warm. Of course it's steaming. If that's focused, I don't know if it's focused, I can't see. Of course that's drying very quickly because the heat of the lead of course is drying it out so therefore it's going lighter as we speak. Just put it back in, just wet it off again. There we go, that is a lead coated. As you can see that's the gravel undercoat. That's the finished product again. Yeah, very camo, yeah. Advantages of that lead, one, it sits on that coloured sand, it's going to be very difficult to see. Two, takes the shine off it, doesn't it? Takes the shine off that plastic coating. And that is it. That is embedded in. Okay, a little bit of sand might fall off, but not all of it. Yeah, you know, because it's brand new. Again, a little bit will rub off on my fingers, but that is about the size of it. There is a light grey with a darky sand. Okay, happy day. So we'll put that one to one side. Yeah, and now we're going to fire up another one. And this time, I'm going to put the chinchilla sand or the very 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 fine sand it's almost like bloody talcum powder this it's that fine but it makes a cracking coat and it just looks like a stone once we're finished and I'll show you that now and then we'll compare the two different sands right so fire up the panzers La 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 Go on, grab yourself a cup of tea You ought to kind of still around twat while I'm doing this Right, so same again Quickly into the old uh, grey plastic powder Give it a quick coating Just tap off any excess and then of course uh, shiny it out. Shiny happy people. I love days off work. Neighbours are probably wondering what the fuck I'm up to. Right, so there again is the bog standard shiny lead. Yeah, molten plastic, still very hot of course. And then into the very fine chinchilla type sand. Yeah, again, I just dig a hole, place it in, cover it with sand. Just leave it there for a couple of seconds. Take it out, give it a quick shake. Of course, that's going to go a very dark now, or darker, I should say, once I stick that straight in the water. Again, watch me uh, powders, I don't drip any water in there, otherwise. You get that on your lead, your leads get all foobarred. There we go, that's still a bit hot. Oh, fucking is hot and all, bastard. Right, I'll leave that in there for a bit longer. I burnt my trotters there, well I didn't. But I could tell it was getting hot. Then I got all Nicky Louder hands then. There's a fly in me tea. Water. Carl left his mug. Right, so that'll be cool now. Let's have a look at that. That is just like gravel, isn't it? Takes the shine off straight away. Yeah, but it gives it that little rough, that rough uh, coating basically. But it takes the shine off, and it looks just like a stone. So let's compare. Same under, but different sands, different uh, grade of sands basically. So there we go. Tips, tricks and handy hints, there's the first one. And I've got a little surprise because this, 
they're two cheeky nice little leads coated with sand that don't cost now that is the front and if we go round here and turn it round there's the back of the onion bag <laughs> right so they were the uh, gravel base coating basically the plastic coating this time this is the sand shop bought one so this is lighter of course as you can see yeah this is a mixed by I don't know in the factory wherever they make it and it's supposed to be a sand color it's very light very yellow okay it looks like a fucking field of daffodils this instead of a sand coating but I'll show you what it looks like when you put a lighter uh, a lighter plastic powder coat in yeah on the old uh, right said Fred right so again fire it up as normal Okay, okay, into the uh, supposedly sand coated plastic. Plastic coating, whatever you want to call it. Well, that's the plastic. Get a good uh, coating on there. And of course, let's move it all out. So there we go, we've got the uh, molten plastic all nice and shiny that's ready to embed the sand into. So again I'll start off with the medium uh, grained coarseness of sand, it's a little bit dark, yeah, but not the darkest one at all. That goes in again just light on the top, just spoon your sand over the top. If you want to push it in that little bit just to give it a little tap to embed them grains by all means do so. But don't push too much because you'll just smear the molten plastic. Yeah. And it'll come out like Stephen Hawkins. So there we go. That's the sand on that one. You see what I mean? It's just smeared it that little bit there. So I'm going to put it back into place. Okay. I'm going to give that a little bit more because it's not stuck to the sides. Happy days. Right, now we'll dunk that, of course, in the water. out of the way, I want to get water in that, like Carl did, because he's a fucking noddy, I love you really Carl, you're just mentally challenged don't you, right, so as we see there now, that is the sand with the sand, yeah, plastic sand with real sand on the top, as you can see it's a lighter colour there than the gravel, so again you can mix your colours to whatever uh, base coating you want, give it a coat have a look what it looks like if it's too dark put a bit more white yellow gray in whatever if it's too light put a bit more black and brown and green whatever so that's the difference there okie dokie in fact sorry that was the wrong one that was the fine one this is the rough one they're the two rough coat sandy coatings that was it sorry that was the uh, the fine one there I picked up by mistake because of my noddy Super. Right, I'll fire up another one, and of course this time we'll go for the fine stuff. So basically it'll look very yellow underneath, but it'll take the shine off it. But again this is just examples of what they look like with the different coatings, light coating, dark coating, gravel coating, black coating, green coating. So we're going into the old plastic.
Get it all nice and shiny. I've covered the swivel this by mistake. Never mind, that can be peeled off later. And of course this one is going into the fine stuff, the very soft, fine powdery one. In she goes, just coat that, cover it. You don't need to press this one and it sticks and don't come off. So there it is, straight into the water now. So there you go, it is a little bit yellow but again, yeah. I'm not really that keen on that powder coating straight from the shop. I would use it though. I'd just mix a bit more black and green and brown and grey and cappuccino and light brown and all different ones in to make the required colour. So there we go. That is a very smooth, fine coating. That is with the rough one. That is the rough one of the gravel. That is the smooth one of the gravel. Happy days. You probably see these all over eBay come New Year now, eh? Yep. Right, so that is the sandy one. Right, now of course I'm going to go for uh, my green. Yeah, again there's four shades of green in here mixed together to form a weedy green type colour. Okay, so again this time that one, again with the two sands, the two uh, different coarseness of sands. Right, I'm going to have a cup of tea first. So there we go, just grab me green. Same procedure. Okay, okay. First one's going to be, of course, uh, the medium sand. We'll have a quick look at that, though. That is my four shades of green. That is the shiny bog standard, all singing, all dancing. If it'll focus, I can't touch that because it's molten plastic. And I burn my trotters. It won't focus. Very white. Right, so into the sand, can't focus that. In we go, cover it with sand if you want to give it a quick tap, not too heavy. Again, we don't want to be uh, smudging all that molten plastic underneath. Out it comes, very light of course at the moment, and then as soon as I dunk that into the water, There we go, it's got that green tinge to that now, as you can see. As opposed to the uh, gravelly one. Just that slight difference in colour, a little greeny weedy type. Yeah, so you can make your different colours. Your, uh, of course your mixings, yeah, the limitless, whatever you want to mix colours. Yeah, once you get the right one, Bob's your teapot, make your batch, and then you've got it then, haven't you? So again, there we go with the green. You can just see that green if it focuses. Put it on my hand, it seems to focus better then. Not putting any hot plastic on my trotter though. Lovely. Right, so same again. 
doing the green again but this time we know with the uh the fine stuff but as you see i've dripped a bit of water in there now you see how it starts going all khaki yeah so i'm not going to go anywhere near that when i do dunk it There we go, that'll be hot enough now. So a different coat in there, Sandy's for of course you budding lead making enthusiasts or even those people who have been doing it for years you can have a little different different type of lead now. So there we go, again that is nice and shiny, this one will set the shine off it but of course the green will, the green colour will be still there. Yeah. So again watch out for that wet bit, in we go, cover the old lead, just leave it for a couple of seconds. I'll go straight into the hot plastic, boom, that's it nice and of course bright and shiny and white but as soon as I dunk it in the water it's going to go that darky greeny type colour. There we go, still a little bit hot that, I might have to dunk that again. Take the steam away as well so you can get a better view of it. There we go. Don't see Fanny Bear, I was pumping out then for £1.45 a shot, do you? And you won't see me pumping them out for £1.45 a shot either. Yeah, because that'll just be taking the piss, won't it? So there we go. That is your green smoothie chinchilla sand that is your yellow and that's the gravelly one basically super right last one uh, I'm not going to bother with black because that won't be much cop to be perfectly honest so I'm going to get my uh, nicely blended speckled brown I've sold thousands of this colour in Sweden thousands of them yeah everybody loved it so this is my speckled brown in here that is a mix of three types of green but the majority of it is black and brown okay so it's like uh, I would say oh, what would I say I'd say about 30% uh, 30 35% black 30 35% uh, brown and you know just little bits of green in there made up the rest probably even more actually but that's my speckled brown so let's have a look what it looks like when this one comes out Right, so I've run out of shiny lead, so I'm going to have to file a couple of more up. So I'll just get the old uh, horrible bits off. I'll be back in two shakes with a donkey's penis. There we go, all nice and filed. That's the donkey work, that is. Yep. Uh, Oh, there's a bit of a bit of a split in that one. Never mind. Never mind, this won't get sold anyway. This is just going out of my bag. Or just stuck to one side to give away his freebies. To Danny Fairbrass when he comes round 
to uh, have a look at me lads to get some tip sticks and handy fucking hints. Hey Dan, hey hey. <laughs> right, so that's ready for, of course, uh, the old powder there, my speckled brown, in she goes. Probably won't focus uh, on that at the moment, but never mind. So we'll go shiny that bad boy up. Can't come too close to the camera, otherwise I'll set it on fire. Right, there we go. Into the rough stuff, or the medium, I should say. It's not the coarsest one I've got. Quick tap down there, I have a fingers back of the spoon, don't matter, but don't hit it too hard, you just want to embed the sand. Yeah, you don't want to smash its back doors in. So, again, a bit bright that, isn't it? So, you stick it in the old water. Do, 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 do. Move that out of the way so I don't get any water in that. And there we have it, that's the speckled brown one, with the old medium, medium to rough grain sands. Super duper camo, that. That's more camo than Cutsy and Carl put together that, isn't it? Provided you were fishing on a light bed, it was that colour of course. So there we go, that is the rough one, and of course, we'll have a go with one of the smooths as well. So, off with that, in with this. Bit of the old powder coating, give it a good coat, make sure it's completely covered, there's no shiny bits poking through, don't want none of that. Quick shake. There we go, all nice and shiny, off with the panzer, into the very fine stuff, any little bits in there you don't want on it, shift it out of the way with your old spoon, in we go, cover it over the top, don't need to press down on this one, leave it a few seconds, out she comes, that's it hot, and this is it wet. There we go, you tell me that don't look like a stone. That is one of my better tips, tricks and handy hints. Yeah. They'll be all over eBay after Christmas. New sandy leads. Yeah. But I don't care, don't bother me. There we go. So that's the smooth one. So, so tip six and handy hints regarding coating your leads with sand there kids. Yeah, we'll have a little bit of a close up now so you can see the difference between them. But first, there's the front and there's the back and the onion bag. Look at that, it looks like a little turd hole doesn't it? A little balloon nut. Yeah. 
before I do shoot off back into the internal man cave, which is more commonly known as the house, yeah, a shout out to Dave Deacon, yeah, hello, you've been waiting for one, mate, there we go, Dave Deacon, Dave the Essex Shinner, what that means, I haven't got a fucking Scooby-Doo, but it must be something from Dan South in Essex, mate, innit, right, fucking back in the onion bag, pal, right, so, from left to right is gravel, that's the rough, that's the smooth, weedy green, that's the rough, that's the smooth, the old sandy sand sand, that's the rough, that's the smooth, and my speckled brown, that's your rough, and that's your smooth. Yeah, and again, you can make whatever colour you like, just blend your powder coatings, yeah, stick lead, uh, sand to them and see how it turns out. Happy days, right, see you later kids.